Okay, so this is my video on Yimaya, Yimaya, uh, the Yorubian, Yorubian, <laughs> the Yorubian uh, goddess. Often depicted as like a mermaid, as you can see here. Often depicted as a mermaid. Um, are simply a beautiful woman standing amidst the waves. Yimaya, or Yimaya, Yimaya is a goddess of comfort and inspiration. When it comes to caring for others, her, and her impulses are sincere and very comforting. Um, she loved her children and her love for her children was unequal. Yimaya reminds us that even the worst catastrophes <laughs> can be endured and that with her help we can learn to negotiate the ebbs and the flows of changes in our lives with her wisdom and courage and grace. Just a little bit about her. Um, her colors are blue and turquoise as you can tell by um, the blue um, there. Um, she is said to wear a dress with seven skirts that represent the seven seas. Um, her symbols are shells, especially the cowrie shell, which I don't have any down here, but I promise I will put some up there. Um, since she's like quite often like depicted as a mermaid, um, well, this is to like a symbol of her, sacred to her peacocks. Um, they're blue, greenish, irresidents and ducks and her number is seven. Um, that's sacred to her for all the seven seas. As any African Arisha, Yumaye represents elemental energies, okay? She is a vital and dynamic image for her personal work and creative drama. Yumaye is worshipped in modern religions of Yoruba, Santera, Wudan, and Makumba. Her symbols and correspondence. Um... She's not as, as popular, I guess, as Oshun, um, but nevertheless, general information about her, um, the ocean, the rivers, mermaids, the Virgin Mary, New Year's Eve, February the 2nd, the North Star, the Half Moon, rivers, dreams, pound cake, boats, ships, sands, sacred dance, and again, her number is seven. So if you are doing, um, paying homage to her or honoring her, get some, a piece of pound cake. She would love that. Put little boats, you know, um, fans. Um, she loves anything in the water as well. So you can't miss her with fish, ducks, doves, peacocks, feathers, chickens, snakes, and all sea creatures. Her plants are oranges, any type of tropical flower, yams, grain, seaweed, or other plants that grow in the earth, in the ocean. Um, my mouth is dry, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> her perfume and scents would be scented soaps like raspberry, cinnamon, or balsam. Her gems, um, she loves silver, like pearls, mother pearl, coral, any type of moonstone. Um, the clear quartz, turquoise, any type of blue gem or bead. Um, her colors are sky blue, silver, white, green, especially a blue dress with full skirt of, of seven layers to represent again the oceans and the waves. Um, I will say, um, I will say this. If you are like a motherly figure or anything like that, she's certainly someone that you can call to. Like I said, so many people, they are quick to pick like Oshun, but Oshun isn't like the only one. She is not the only Orisha. Um, and like I said, always, you know, um, go with what follows to you. You know, she's considered to be like the mother of all. Um, I love her. She's very peaceful, very calming. Um, if you are like a water, if water is your element, then she can most definitely be um, for you. Um, she's magnificent, the aspect of the Divine Mother. 
Um, she's primarily considered too to be like an African Brazilian goddess as well. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Um, she enjoys dancing. Her movements are said to reflect like the rhythm of the ways. Um, what she does is she governs. She governs like the household. Uh oh, oh crap. <laughs> I didn't crack my phone though. Um, and I'm not re recording this shit either, so y'all getting all of it. Um, Yumaye is associated, um, like I said, with um, the household. She grants protection, security, safety, love, and healing to all that asks for her aid. I actually have some um, candles down here while I'm doing some healing work. So, um, of course, I will put those by her. Um, she, let's see, she does not like being around death or violence. She doesn't like it, like, at all. Um, she can be fierce, and she will go to war on behalf of her children, uh, like, welding like a machete. Nobody can defeat her. <laughs> um... Let's see. She likes molasses too, y'all. Um, saltwater fish, molasses, brown sugar, pineapples, papayas, grapes, pears, you know, anything. Sugar cane, rice cakes, bananas, mango. Remember that. Um, I will tell you that her day of the week is Saturday. And she loves tea rolls too and like sandalwood, lilac, um, plumera, verbena. Um, her fest, her feast and festival days, February the 2nd, summer solace in September the 7th. So a lot of you guys, if you are, you might know, if that's who calls to you, um, you kind of missed her because it's the 14th now. Um, again, she loves this number seven. She's associated with seven, multiples of seven, including the seven seas, seven skirts in blue and white numerology. Uh, the interpretation of the number seven is about faith, spirituality, spiritual, spiritual awakening, enlightenment, mysticism, intuition, eccentric religion, thoughtfulness, healing, ritual peace, emotions, inner perseverance. That's what it represents. Um, you can do like a ritual for her. I didn't do one for Oshun and I apologize for that, but I will share a ritual with her. Um, you can do a ritual with one glass container. You can get seven coins. You can get seven white or blue flowers, which is optional. You can get like two cups of ocean water and sand or spring water. You can get a white or a blue candle, like non-toxic taper, seven-day candle, something to inscribe, subscribe with. Um, you can do terra oils that were used for this ritual. Um, and that's doTERRA, D-O-T-E-R-R-A oils. Um, a whisper, like the spritz bottle with one drop applied, beginning the ceremony to anywhere that you felt appropriate. Some myrrh, one to two drops in the water. Some sandalwood, to, uh, candle anointing. Um, you can also use some Clary Calm Woman's monthly blend roll-on. To anoint the uterine over, uh, ovary area, reflex points on the ankles um, at the end of the ritual. And to kind of prepare for it, you can create an altar to Yumaye with some objects to symbolize her. You will anoint yourself with the whisper spritzer. Spray your crown and where you feel like it needs to be appropriate. Um... um the invocation, you can kind of say, and um, I'm going to at some point add this to the, the video, but it's just uh, the invocation is um, you who rule the waters pouring over humankind, your protection. Oh, divine mother, wash their bodies and their minds, performing a cleansing with your water and instilling in their hearts the respect and veneration due to the force of nature that it symbolizes. Let us protect your group of things and what they protect. We beseech power for you, Maya, queen of the waters, to receive this prayer with love and justice. 
Give me the required and necessary strength to withstand everything. In your sea of nature and harmony, I want to live. Protect my loved ones from all harm and danger. Hail, Yemaye, queen of the sea. So you will bless the water in the container um, into the water place. Drop your one to two drops of myrrh. Using the taper candle, first cleanse it with sage or salt water. Then inscribe your request and anoint it with some blessed sandalwood oil. If you don't have sandalwood oil, olive oil will do. When applying the anointing oil, stroke it onto the candle, moving from the top to the center, then the bottom to the center, then the wick, and lastly, the bottom of the candle. Kind of place the candle in the center of the container of the bowl, turn the candle, and ask Yemaye to help you with this request. Light the candle, preferably with matches. Make your offerings for an example. You can place a white or blue flower about or into the water. You can also place tropical fruit or some other suggested offerings that I have listed um, or that I've told you uh, like above. Um, you can dip your fingers into the water and wipe your forehead or anywhere else this purifying water feels appropriate. Flick any energy, um, energies ready to be released over your left shoulder. Then chant or sit in meditation and, re and recite poetry for a while. When you feel um, complete, anoint the inner ankles with that clary calm oil. Let the candle burn um, all the way down. Be careful to make sure it's in a safe place. Maintain in the altar for seven days or however long you feel it's appropriate. Continue to burn taper candles or allow your seven day candle to complete. After seven days or the time that you feel <clears throat> that is being appropriate or anything like that, um, you can replace it with like uh, fresh flowers, put on your altar, and then release them in the ocean, a lake, or a river. Um, the traditional prayer for Yumaye is Aya Ia Ayaba Akum Uma Ire Kokobu Awani Laya. Now, I probably didn't say that, like, pronounce it the way that it was supposed to be, but it's Laya, L-Y-A, Iya, E-Y-A, Ayaba, A-Y-A-B-A, Akun, O-K-U-N, Oma, O-M-A, Iri, I-R-E, Gobu, Gobu, G-B-O, G-B-O, Awani, A-W-A-N-I, and Laya, L-Y-A, again. Um, another short prayer you can say is you my yeah, your love protects me and helps me. Amen. Um, uh, I'm trying to give y'all like a lot of information. I hope I did. <laughs> I hope I did. Um, <clears throat> and you can, um, you know, watch the video kind of like a couple of times so you can get everything down. Um, also like, um. You can do like the read the poetry to her, the goddess of the sea, um, strange clouds, fragments of glory, envisioning glimmering stars of a story, commanding you among the goddesses of water. With your laughter, the storm you disarm. With your kind word, you return the calm. The breeze of the east brings you gentle life. Goddess of the sea and the living waters, your cheek is kissed by the beautiful moon. And with majesty and stars, it filled your mind. The waves carried beautiful roses, which the waters will hide. Their aromas and are the hope that makes you the goddess of the sea. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Yumaye or Yamaya, um, Eruvian um, goddess, deity, Orisha. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys... Um, enjoyed what I did. I tried to be as detailed as possible. And it's just a little coconut here. Um, <clears throat> I had our uh, incense burning before. And that's just some water. And I just wanted to share my little altar for you, my yay, and share some information on her. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can find me on Facebook at Infinite Energy. Um, also, my... Um, also, my... Um, Damn, I had a brain for it. 
Um, my website is magicallaydudutchess.com. That's M A G I C K A L, ladyduchess.com. Or um, my email for if you want any type of work done and magicalladyduchess at gmail.com. That's M A G I C K A L, ladyduchess.com. I mean, at gmail.com. Shit. <clears throat> this was a lot, y'all. <laughs> Bye for now.